Hello everybody, welcome back for more of the Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree. <clears throat> we took down the Dancing Lion and explored the heck out of the Bellarat Tower settlement last night. That was a lot of fun. We're back to having not too much direction because I haven't noticed any other crosses other than the path that led up to Bellarat. But there was something else I wanted to check near here. No, not there. Uh, near here. Where the Prospect Village was. Because there was another path going past it that I didn't really go down. And I want to tag where the Wormies are so I can figure out how best to get to the Wormies. Because they are our Wormy friends. We saw them and came up here first and looked down. Like, there's Fire Boy. Damn birds. Getting away. Yep, there are the wormies. So let's see. The wormies are here ish. now, I want to see what's down in that wooded area there. Because these... I don't remember what the game was calling them. It's on the, the fork that I got. Their, their new description. They're like... Blood witches or, or something. Fork, 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 fork. Fork, 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 fork. Blood fiends. Whoa, there's something. There is something shiny up there in the twilight. Hello. Whoa, blood fiends indeed. have up here. Why is this area glowing? What is that? A larval tear. It was illuminating the whole area? I didn't know they did that. Forager Brood Cookbook. These are the Forager Brood? So, these guys are actually friendly in this world? There were others around here. He gave me a call. That might have been the one that I attacked, like, when I first came up here and was like, Oh shit, one of those things! I was like, I know what you rot pests are. Yeah, I think that was the same one. There's a turtle pond over there. And a you right there! Red mushrooms. Reddish mushrooms. Alright, well, let's follow this path down here. See what we got. What is that? Whoa! Where's your master? It's a golden sheep? Lightning sheep? Oh. 
Oh. Oh. Oh, what? What the fuck? Giant lightning sheep? What the fuck? Oh my god, Miyazaki is getting revenge on all of the rolling sheep that we killed in the first game. What the fuck? Holy crap. Oh my god. Jesus, that was, oh, that was, that was great. Range is a thing. Apparently I need more coffee. No. Rude, with your blood vomit. <laughs> Overshot, you got your dog. That's okay. Okay, so I'm wondering, if I don't attack the golden sheep, is the big sheep just gonna leave me alone? This time we leave the golden sheep alone and see if the big one just stays where it's at. Oh wow, yeah, no it is because I attacked its children. It doesn't care, as long as I don't attack. I'll walk right up to you. Hello? You're friendly? You're definitely friendly. Oh my god, you're... What? Hey. 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 No. No, 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 go away. Territorial little buggers, I'll tell ya. Consider that a warning. Oh, good God. All right, I am considering myself warned. There's a tomb of some sort there, and something sticking out there. Rats down there. <laughs> Missed. And 
this is all still around the same. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So what's down here then? Come, Torrent. Hello. Oh, it's one of those. Oh. 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 You want to get spinny? Obviously, it wants to get spinny. It got spinny with it. Okay. Okay. Well, now we know that that guy's there. Pretty awesome. The broken rune. And like for the amount of enemies that I've killed to already be up to ten nearly ten thousand runes. There's, uh, there's some good gains in this realm, here, Realm of Shadow. Can I sneak you? No. No, this is how you come with that. Revenge! And all that. Jagass. What do we got here? Oh, ruins. Yep, this is this is definitely a settlement of some sort. There's something up on the top too. You know what? Explorers ADD. Let's go to the top before we go to the bottom. Watch out for a giant boar up here. Oh, bint. I think that is a giant boar. Why do I insist on jumping on my own when Torrent is the better jumper? Oh, there is something up here. Oh! 
Oh, an artist shack. So we have these two, huh? That looks like that could be on the Grave Plains incursion painting. Yeah, it looks like it could be down there. Maybe closer to, to all that. Damn. Skadu trees, friggin' gorgeous. Didn't expect this gorgeous view. Well, you know, if it wasn't as covered in mist right now, it might be even more gorgeous. But it is a misty day. However, the mist is clearing. started so yeah this is it's a church over there I'm surprised there wasn't a sight of grace by the artist shack there usually is Yep. That's a bear. Hi, bear. With your red hair. Beast horns. Oh, shit! <laughs> well, back where I started. <laughs> we go. Dumbest death of the run so far. I just prefer fighting these guys on the ground rather than horseback. Sacred bloody flesh. Boost physical attack power and arcane once. Attack power boosted further when blood loss occurs. A delicacy of the blood fiends. Raw meat soaked with blood. Temporarily boosts attack power and arcane. The blood is said to have fallen from the formless mother's wound. Never will it dry. Never will it rot. Interesting. There's a, <coughs> a whole path down here and everything. And it all kind of encirculates, encircles the wormy village. I could actually get down there right now. But I have, like, just over halfway to another level on the ground, so... I should really get that first, and then we'll go say hi to the ones. Look at all you crows. Jesus. Already hit 10,000 again.
Hi guys. Y'all are cool. Your the goats are cool with me. The lightning summoning goats are cool with me. There we go. Yeah, that's all death. Gonna have to go back around and fight. Fight, fight, fight. Church first, Wormy second. this game. Church first, second. Hello, audio boy. Thank you for tuning in. Glad you could join us. Alright, buddy. Come on. Yeah, at this point, we're just speeding along to it. We've been spending a little bit too much time on this plateau. I want to get to that church and then get down to them wormies. Fucking golden goats. Golden goats who eat golden oats. Auburn A. That's what I say to your little friend. Okay, it has a grapple. Check out this church. 
that a church? Is That is not Marika. That can't be. They hate Marika here by all accounts. Church of Benediction. Blessed Blue Dew Talisman. Oh, I, I, I have a feeling I know what that would do. It is a statue of Marika, but she's been beheaded. Is that all that was in here? Huh, that really was it. It's kind of anticlimactic for all the work it took to get down here. And oh, whoa, ha. Huh. Outseeker Knight. We have a new armor set. And Pata. Oathseeker. Pata, standard pierce. D strength and D dex. A weapon comprised of a linear double sided blade attached to a substantial guard, wielded by the Oathseeker Knights. This versatile armament can be swung about like a fist or used in the manner of a straight sword. Skill, impaling thrust. Skill, lets, skill that lets piercing armaments overcome the enemy's shield. Build power, then lunge forward for a strong thrust that pierces an enemy's guard. Neat. Oathseeker Knight's Helm, black with gold ornamentations. It does look really beautiful. These knights set off on quests of discovery, hoping to find themselves an oath of their own by choosing to serve in perfect lifelong devotion. Crucible is a particularly strong influence on the beasts of the Realm of Shadow, causing many to grow horns despite the characteristics of their species. Hmm. Yep, I thought that that was going to be a FP recovery thing. Fireproof pickled liver. Nice. Alright. Just because I am curious about this and some of the other weapons, too. Oh, I can actually use this. Curious as to what it is like. But where's the thing we just got? Actually, very cu curious to use that. Upgrade that to one of hand. Where's this Pata? I have far too much shit. Is it up with my straight swords, maybe? No. fuck is it? The spears, maybe? I don't know. What the fuck?
it's like completely disappeared from my inventory? Oh, there it is. Counted as a fist weapon, okay. Okay, that's how those work. Cool. There's a path down there. Whole bunch of stuff down there, too. I have a feeling this would be... A very fatal fall. Is there any way up for me around here? No. Okay. So that's it for here. You know, we've kind of seen all there is to see up here now. So, uh, yeah, there doesn't look like there's anything special there. So, uh, yeah, let's just, um, go back to Graveside Plain. Okay, now first off, um, we are, okay, so what it was, what we were actually looking down at was the, the place where you come in, huh? Yeah. That's, that's what we were looking down at. And the little wormy guys are like pretty much right next to where you come in. I kind of want to see them at night. Excuse me! That was so very rude. giant sheep protector for you. Oh ho! We found one of the crosses of Mikula. No, we didn't. But we 
We found the wormies. interact with these guys at all? I don't want to kill them. They're adorable. And besides, they all might just suddenly turn on me, or there might be like a god worm or something. What do we have here, though? Summoning pool and... A stake of Marika. And a boss. Western Nameless Mausoleum. Blackguard Knight. This is the second boss we have found so far. And we could have, you could have just found him in like the opening seconds of the DLC too. Had I like headed, hugged the wall instead of headed right for the scorched village and the, the burning dude, I would have found this like obviously. I just keep missing with the jump attacks. I mean... I think I could also do... Where is my pokey? You could always see how susceptible to this he is.
Wow. How did I get the timing on those rolls so wrong? Either that or he just has a really good roll catch. Either way. While it kind of worked out a bit, didn't work out that well. this guy giving me such an issue. We're probably going to get that bow from him. Fighting frustrated, just fight. Wow. Well, so far, the two bosses we've found have both been challenging. That's nice.
Oops. See? Just needed patience. Ooh, a new greatsword and a new armor set. Helm of Solitude. Okay. So we didn't get his bow. Well done. Ah, well done. Okay. First start. B strength scaling. I have the faith and strength to use it. Steel greatsword wielded by the knights of solitary jail. Of the solitary jail. Through a sacred rite, they relinquish their hearts for heightened battle prowess. Next, they engraved their blades with two crests, one depicting the light of birth, and the other, solitude. Solitary moon slash. Sharply slash downward using the greatsword, shooting forward an arc of light. Strong attack follows for advancing follow-up. Or, strong attack allows for advancing follow-up. So what he was doing to us, basically. Oh, I like the speed of that thing. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I... Where can I start going to uh, level these things up, guys? I think that's, that's what I want to know. Also, got to check out these new armor sets. Oath Seeker one, where's Solitude one? Ah, too much shit. No, seriously, like, now we're not in the armors anymore, we're in the... Oh. There we are. Armor of Solitude. Better in every way than the Elden Ring than the Elden Lord armor. Steel chest armor of the Knights of Solitary Jail. Part of a heavy armor set that covers the whole body in overlapping plates of steel and black and bedecked with a black cloak. The nameless mausoleums of the Realm of Shadow are set to hold the spirits of warriors who lost their names or their hearts. We're already heavy loading it. By quite a bit. Okay, so Letta must be an Oath Seeker because that looks a lot like her helmet. Anyway.
Yeah, that is quite a quite a knightly armor set. Well, that works. And I like the fingerprint armor. Looks cool. And we've got the oath, some of the oath seeker stuff on, so we've got some new armor that we're wearing. Once I find a way back to the hold or a place where we can... Whoa! You had some horns on ya. Hello. Thank you. And I'm getting like a good amount of smithing still. I just need to find out where I can use them. Alright. Now I'm curious. You are sacrificed for the research. Oh! Yeah, they all become really mad. But you guys give, like, 1,100 a shot, so... I need the souls. What can I say? What do you drop? Grave glove warts! Ooh. And they don't do much damage. If I can hit them in the head, I can just take them down, like, in one shot. So, sorry, wormies. Oh, one of them stopped paying attention. Calling this worth it.
Okay. Well done. Let's keep going. Did I just hear something? Yep. Hi. Did you come down off the cliff? Burning man can stay over there. Hello. Not ready for the wicker man yet. I like that this has kind of refilled all of my uh, flasks. Both take kindly, Mikolas. May we meet again on the bat. Carved words coalesce. Here I abandoned the first of the flesh of my body. I urge you, follow after Mikola. As long as you abide by his footfalls, you will be no enemy to me. Where that bridge might be. That could be something we could try to find. Also, how far away from that next level am I? About 30k? Pretty sure I can make that. faith. Where could we go from here? We can go pretty much anywhere. This must be the bridge. Slaughter Fest. Side of Grace there. going to find in this town? Abandoned alien village. Oh, 
Oh, fly guys. What? Where's that amulet? That we got that, uh, none of those. everything being such a bitch to find. <laughs> those. It's one of the new ones. There's the Blade of Mercy. Not the one that I'm looking for, though. Taker's Cameo? Restore HP upon defeating enemies? It's a maybe. Crusade insignia. There it is. That's the one I wanted. And then the bouquet is there. Likely house. <laughs> all right, I think that means we killed all of them. Is there like really nothing here? Really? There's just a bunch of fly guys? No, oh, there's more up there. Shades and fly guys. It's a shade mage, too. Oh, that's a lot of corpses. Ailment talisman. Raises resistance to the last ailment suffered. Neat. When certain ailments are triggered, this talisman grants resistance to the same ailment. When the weak were infected with the dreaded fly sickness, they perished well before the metamorphosis could take hold. Oddly, those who cared for the infected and made certain there were tho those who cared for the infected and made certain they were given a proper burial were never afflicted themselves. Oh, so these fl the human flies are actually a byproduct of a disease. That's pretty uh, pretty harsh. There's a whole foresty area over there. Very twilight this area. Where is there? So that is definitely not the bridge. That could be though. Yeah, because the bridge we're looking for is more of a land bridge.
the shrooms. They're all going down to a lake, huh? This better not be a poison swamp. Site here. Physical caves. That looks like the right bridge. Yeah, it's got the spires, it's got the leaves, it's got the trees. Shadow Realm Ruin. Could be a precious item, but look carefully. Yeah, because you have to get it from the perspective that the painting was shot. Yep, there it is. Serpent Crest Shield. finely made red shield featuring an engraving of a winged serpent excels at guarding against fire said to have been made to commemorate the beginnings of the crusade started by Mesmer, son of Marika. No skill. Now where is it? Oh, come on. Really? Why am I so blind? Where is it? There it is. I have a whole bunch of stuff I can sell. Hello. What do we have here? Bellarat Jail.
Oh. Yeah, that would put me at a heavy load. The wolf armor is actually slightly better. So is Hoslow's armor. In fact, all of these armors are slightly better. Fingerprint armor was even, like, way better. So, you know what? I'm just going to back to that. Well, um, I'm getting a bit hungry, so I'm going to take a small break here. Um, we did some pretty good exploring of the overworld. I feel like we've got a good handle on most of the grave site planes. There's still a little bit left to, to look at kind of near where we started as well. But this was really cool. We found a boss, found a bunch of cool stuff, some lore stuff. And now we've got the jail under the Bellarat te Tower Settlement, I guess? Yeah, we are actually underneath the Bellarat Tower Settlement. So we have the jail to explore, and then when we come out, there'll be all of this. And there's this stuff. That looks like a whole different part, too. And then, yeah, like there's all of this that we haven't explored yet. This looks like it keeps on going that way. There's looks like a mini Kalid or something right there. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go grab some food. I'll be back a little bit later. Thank you for everyone who tuned in to catch some of this live. Y'all are deserving of all the praise. We'll see you soon.